Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to take a look at one of the Fusion nodes called Trails. A uh, few people have asked me about this, so I decided to do a fun tutorial on it and show you how the Trails node works. It's actually pretty cool. There's quite a bit of functionality to it. So let's dig right in when we come right back. All right, I'm gonna to go to my effects library. I'm gonna drop a, go to effects or generators if you're in 15, fusion composition, drop a fusion composition down in here. And um, we'll select that and we'll go to fusion. It's pretty straightforward so far. We have our media out as always. And let's just find um, something to play with in here. So I'll just grab this media in and we'll do this in a 3D. The trail node is actually for 2D composites, not 3D. So I'm gonna start with 3D and we'll kind of take it from there so you can see how to use it uh, either way. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna change my mind here and let's just go to a 3D text and we'll do it this way. And we'll just type in trails and we'll make sure this is in our left side over here. Let's give it some extrusion depth, a little bevel depth. And like I did in the other one, I'll add an effect to it. So let's go to a shader and let's find a shader here. I like Chrome. So I just click on that and I have this Chrome template in here. Now to add that to the text 3D, I have to add a replace material 3D. So I'll add that and connect my Chrome to it. And so we can see here's our nifty text there. I want to uh, add a little more bevel to it. Let's smooth it out a little bit. That should work just fine. All right, so now we have kind of the beginning of our 3D scene here. And what else do we have to do? Well, we need a, a 3D merge if we're gonna add anything else. We have to render that out as 2D and we connect that to our media out and we can add it in here. So we'll, let's see, we've got our text, we have our Chrome texture on it. We have our merge so we could add cameras or lights or whatever we wanted to to it. We're rendering out to a 2D scene and going to our media out. So pretty straightforward things we've done quite a few times if you've watched any of the previous videos. Let's just give some animation to this text here. And I'm gonna push it back, I'll slide it left. I'll bring it up. I'm gonna put it in that corner over there. And I'll go to my transform over here. I'll keyframe that. Okay. And oops, I was not on the beginning. So let's change that to set those keyframes over there. And we'll go like three seconds in. And we'll move this down and slide it over to there. So pretty simple animation, just going across the screen. Okay, so that's our text. And we can um, then take this and add our trails to it. So one thing I wanna actually try here, and this wasn't working in the last version of 15, so it was kind of annoying, is cache to disk. So I'm gonna just enable the cache here for this section, all right? So I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so now we have this kind of cached out, so we should have better playback as we're doing things. Okay, so now I'm going from my render 3D to my media out, and I'm gonna add my trails. Okay, so here it is. Let's take a look at some of the settings on here. 
We have pre reset pre-roll on render, which means as soon as I start over again, it should reset the trails and do whatever pre-roll I want. Uh, you can select do it for this time only. And the pre-roll frames is kind of how many frames back it would create that trail. So if I have zero, it's going to start with none. And then as it moves, it will create the trails. If I increase that, then it will start as if it's already been in motion. So if I come up here and I pre-roll this, Now, one thing you will find with trails is while you're working with it, it can be very annoying. So let's scrub through here and we'll see what kind of mess we get as we scrub back and forth. So it is just, it can get very, very ugly very quickly. And sometimes it's easier to do all your animation by taking the trails out, getting all your animation done, getting all your movements done, then adding the trails in to create the effect. So let's hit restart so it resets it. Okay, then we need to start kind of playing with what is this gonna look like? So I'm gonna back it up a little bit and then I'll pull forward. And one thing I wanna change is probably the gain. So I don't want it to be just so incredibly heavy. So I can adjust the gain I'll pull it down to maybe 0.75-ish, somewhere in there. Okay, let's try scrubbing it again. So now we have kind of this echoey effect, which is not too bad. To me, it's a little on the jaggy side here. <coughs> now we can also rotate where we want those trails to be. I want them to be, uh, in the direction of the movement. So I'm not going to bother with that. Let me back this up here so I can see what I'm doing again. Like I said, working with trails can be uh, interesting to say the least. So I can scale that. So maybe I, I want it to scale down or scale up, which scaling up is usually not going to look good. Scaling down is going to kind of push it to the back. Now, one thing I don't really care for is this echoey or duplicated look. So the way I can get rid of that is to just add some blur to it. Okay. Let's back it up here, hit restart. Let's see what it looks like. So it's still a little bit there. I can increase the blur. So a lot of playing with trails is going to be trial and error. Now that's starting to look pretty good. I can kind of hang with that maybe a little bit more. Let's go back, hit restart. Okay, that's kind of cool. But now we can get to the end. Okay, I'm going to turn off loop. We'll start over. We get to the end. Well, it's no longer moving. So why should there be motion blur behind it, right? So let's fix that. So we'll get to the end. And kind of let's see that motion blur. Okay, so I'm gonna set my gain. So when I get to the end, I want it to stop. So let's give it a look here. Not too bad. I think I still have a little bit of this blur behind it. So I wanna get to the end, maybe keyframe that right there give it a few frames and then completely kill that gain so that it goes completely away. Let's go back to the beginning, hit restart, hit play. All right, not looking too bad. Although I think this fall off is probably a little slow. So let's try it there. Okay, not too shabby. Okay, now let's smooth it out, right? So we have our keyframes on here. Let's go to our spline editor 
and we'll go to trails and we'll get, grab these two and we're going to hit the smooth tool. And that should make that fall off look a little bit nicer. Okay, so I'm going to back it all up, hit restart, go to my edit page. I'm going to let this render. Shouldn't take too long. There, there we go. Okay, look at that. Pretty darn cool, huh? So that's the Trails node. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope to see some of the work that you guys have done in the comments below. Just paste a link to the video. Let me see what you guys have done. Love to see how you take these concepts and move forward with them. Really like to see that. So hope to see some of that soon. Thanks for all you subscribers out there. We've had a ton of new subscribers lately. Thanks to each and every one of you for supporting the channel. We're going to try and do something big for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Don't know what all the details yet. I'm working on it. I'll hope to announce something uh, as we get closer to that big 10K mark. Thanks for all the support on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash G. Really appreciate that. And don't forget to visit all of uh, the sponsors as you know they come up, like uh, Skillshare, Think Tank Photo, uh, Accusonus, and uh, of course Black Magic. Thank to all of them for supporting the channel as well. If you'd like to see something, some uh, technique or feature or node or something that you'd like to see how it works, be sure and leave a comment and I'll try and get to it as quickly as I can. You can always visit a lot of the other stuff at carriegarrison.com. I've got my title packs there for sale. And when uh, there's projects that I have the project files for, you can download them from there as well. So thanks for watching, everyone. As always, I will catch you later. Bye-bye.